this is like a a tragic love song, but it's actually about kind of like it's about our relationship with nature, and obviously it is a relationship, an abusive relationship. So this is kind of like I definitely wanted to write a song about not well climate change really and stuff, but I know for a lot of people that's a big turn off. So like, how can I? Um, how can I sneak it into something more relatable? So I started like thinking of like, you know, mankind and mother, mother nature or the planet or whatever is like, you know, that they're in this relationship. And so, yeah, it's kind of like, if you don't pay too much attention, it just sounds like a love song. But if you like kind of, you know, scratch the surface, it's obviously, it's about something a bit bigger than that. And yeah, obviously we got Amy Lee from Evanescence to, to she's kind of, she's nature, she's the planet, she's like Mother Earth, I guess. Yeah, so we basically got sued by Evanescence for our, on our last record. On Nihilus Blues, we like wholesale ripped off one of their verses. Um, it was a subconscious thing, but it was, it was, it was one of those things like, yeah, we're not even going to argue, so. Um, and she was like, but she, when, when they got in touch, and obviously to like, be like, when it's figured this out, she was like, I'm actually a fan of the band and would love to work with them. So we're just like, oh, that's cool. And we kind of forgot. And then when we were writing this song, and we kind of, we started off with this like vocal bed to start a song and kind of um, the idea was to do like something where it relied very little on any kind of percussion or any other instruments at all, just like it was all kind of vocals. Um, and we're like, oh, it'd be so sick if we could get someone like Amy to do it. And we're like, well, she's up for it, maybe. <laughs> she said she'd work with us, so we asked her and um, yeah, she were down, so. Like, she is the song, you know what I mean? She kind of makes up all, most of the music of the song. Yeah, and it was just perfect doing something with her that's obviously like, I guess, Evanescence are known for like their power ballads and stuff like that, but we're not really. So it was kind of like unexpected for our listeners because, you know, we've done emotional songs, but this is proper like, yeah, it gets, it gets very ballady because I wanted it to be almost like, it feel very much like a cheesy love song because of the theme of the song, I want to sell that it is like this kind of like duet between man and, 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 and the planet. You know, I think when we look back on this record, it will feel very much like a record that represents 2020, at least in our world, you know what I mean? Which is cool, I think. What artists have been doing, including yourself, is collaborations because people have just been, you know, dying to have that creative outlet, whether it's their own song or just working yeah. with somebody else. So I yeah. wanted to touch on, you did a collaboration with Bring Me the Horizon. How was that experience? And, and like, what did you take of the song in the end? It's perfect you brought it up right after that question because I was in this sort of feeling frustrated moment, just like feeling stuck with myself. Like the ball's in my court, I have to do the next thing for the next thing to happen kind of thing. Um, and I'm just, I'm busy. I'm in the studio all the time. I don't have time for collaborations right now. And we sort of talked a little bit, um, you know, about one day it'd be cool to do a collaboration. Um, and it's like, hey, here it is, but we're on like a quick deadline. We had turned around really fast. And I was like, okay, worst time ever. <laughs> and then I heard the song and it's so good. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, it just made me instantly really happy. Um, and I knew I had to just like, stop what I was doing and pour into it for a minute and I just took the week and the experiment the experience was beautiful just going back and forth there's a little time zone difference so I'd be doing the bulk of my work and do everything you know and be done at night and then go to sleep and then I got to wake up you know in the morning to like instant feedback like oh you know it's awesome do this do that it helped me feel I don't know beautiful the song is beautiful I can't wait for it to come out I've really been listening to it on repeat their, their whole album is really awesome um but that song um it's always gonna have a special place in my heart because I felt like in a moment like as an artist when I was stuck like another artist came along and helped me that's so inspiring and so nice <laughs> well another one of